So yeah, right there behind me is where they used to have all the physical media. Now it is a wide open space. Um, what is up everybody and welcome back to the mid-level media channel your hub for everything physical media and entertainment and i'm here at best buy it's a wednesday and i thought i would just stop over here because uh you know i was in the area i got an oil change in my dealership that i take it to is out here like right next to the best buy so i just can't be within a two mile radius of a best buy and not go it just feels wrong uh, plus I'm a physical media addict and I just have to check it out see if there's any deals I do want to because I know the howling is actually on sale right now I think for $22.99 on Amazon so I want to see if I can find that in here because I've been wanting to pick that one up and also I'm just going to scope out uh, you know the new releases see if they put anything out on the shelves I know the Northman came out this week but I don't uh, plan on picking that one up physically so I may browse the TVs as well because I am in the market to purchase a new 4K, uh, you know, TV and OLED is, is what I want to get. I just don't know the brand that I necessarily want to get. A lot of you guys have given me some good recommendations, so I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards an LG, uh, but I've got some other recommendations as well. So yeah, we're just going to do a little, uh, you know, Best Buy trip and I might transition this into a a pickup haul video because I did get some stuff in the mail as well. I am going to be stopping in my PO box seeing if I got any new subscriber mail. So it may just be an all-in-one video here today. So I'm excited to get into it. Let's go into Best Buy and see what they got for us. All right, we are heading in to Best Buy. I am interested in seeing if they do have, for one, the Northman, but also those uh, Sony Steelbooks, Lawrence of Arabia, and Bridge on the River Kwa. All right, guys, so here's what we got for new releases, and yeah, it looks like, it looks like they finally come for my Best Buy. It looks like they are remodeling. There was some signs when I walked in, and I feel like they're getting rid of uh, all the physical media. They do have this little standee right here, so we do still have the Batman, you know, and they got Candyman, the 4K, um but yeah yeah right there behind me is where they used to have all the physical media now it is a wide open space um and they just had that one standee up there so i don't know where all the media was from a couple of weeks ago but it looks like they're taking it all out it's time guys physical media is dead officially dead at best buy and it looks like they still you know care enough to have have the games on the shelves they still have a couple of aisles of games here They've still got some Legos over here as well. This is very disappointing, guys, very depressing. I don't feel like I've ever seen any NECAs at Best Buy before, but if I can't buy any movies, they do have the Thing NECA that I, I've been looking for at Target, but I've never been able to find. I do kind of like that. Got the Thing NECA, they got Halloween Kills, Friday the 13th Part 5. But yeah, Best Buy is toys now. Yep, so this is the one that I was I was looking at right here. The 65 inch OLED. Um, you guys can tell me if this is a this is the one I should get, but you know, $1300 seems pretty reasonable. Of course, I could get the 77 inch. I could just go right for it. $2500. As I'm walking around filming back here, and everybody's looking at me like I'm a crazy person. And I don't even care because you know what? Screw you, Best Buy. Get all your physical media out. Yeah, they still got, you know, Nintendo Switch stuff. I don't know if they're gonna take out the video game stuff or not, but you, you know, video game fans, you know, that buy stuff physically still, you're still okay, so that's good. And yeah, they're doing the, the full remodel right here. The full remodel, and, and yeah, I'm not seeing any movies anywhere. Not seeing any movies anywhere, you know, except for this one spot. That's all they've got. I mean, this is like, this is the end of the era. The end of an era. This is my last time here at Best Buy. I, I will never come back after today. What's the point? What is the point? And of course, we had to have a, a full section of Wonder Woman 1984 steelbooks here on this end cap. Um, of course, you know, 
It's the last time I get to make fun of the the Wonder Woman 1984 steel books. They're they're 18.99, by the way. I can't say that I'm I'm shocked or anything. Like I knew that this was gonna happen eventually. I just I didn't think it would happen this soon. I thought I had some time left. I just thought I had more time. I just I I don't know. It just it sucks. Uh, but yeah, this is my last time in Best Buy. You know, I'll come back to, to probably buy a TV, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it today. Um, it's just disappointing. I, I don't know what else to say. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, so look, I, I can't say that I didn't see this coming. I just didn't think it was gonna happen today. I just wasn't expecting it to happen right now at this very moment. I just thought I had a couple of months, maybe. Maybe, maybe till the end of the year. Um, but yeah, looks like my Best Buy is cleaning out all physical media. They still have one small stand, but it even looks like that one uh, they'll likely get rid of because that wasn't the new release stand. The new release stand was completely empty. I don't even know if they had new stuff in stores. So this is probably this is probably my last Best Buy Blu-ray uh, Blues Day, two, even though it's not Tuesday. But my last Blues Day trip. So look, I, I've, I've anticipated this. I felt like it was going to come. Is another reason why I stopped, uh, you know, doing the Tuesday Blues Day vlogs. Obviously, I'll still do hunting videos. It'll just be other locations, Goodwill, Dollar General. You know, as long as they uh, have physical media, I'll try to venture out and, and to find new places. But uh, this is this is the end of an era. You know, I've already said that before, but. Um, it's official. The nail in the coffin. Best Buy not having the physical media. So what am I going to do now? Just go to Target and Walmart? Like they never have anything on release day anyway. I'll probably still go there from time to time. But uh, yeah, I, look, I'm depressed. Uh, it's it's depressing. Like because they still had some stuff. Again, it wasn't as good as it was. But I could always go in there and find some stuff that I you know didn't feel like I had to order online. It's just it's disappointing. It's just, it's, I, I don't mind ordering online. I've gotten used to it. I do have the Bridge on the River Quad Steelbooks uh, at home in the Lawrence of Arabia and all that stuff. So I've gotten used to ordering online. I just like, I just like the feeling of walking into an actual place and getting to browse and, you know, getting to feel the physical media in my hands and then deciding on if I want to purchase it uh, right there on the spot. It's, you know, all the spontaneity is just taken out of it now. I like to be spontaneous with my physical media purchasing now. Uh, but you know, you got to plan ahead but weeks in advance. And it's like, sometimes by the time I get this stuff in, I'm like, why did I even pre-order this? Uh, it's, I just like to, to have it there. If you guys know what I mean. You like doing this kind of stuff too. Uh, it's just horrible. It's just horrible. Uh, but I do get a lot of comments like when I pre-order stuff and I'm waiting on pre-orders, they're like, uh, why don't you go to stores? Just get it in stores. So this is why I, I can't go to stores anymore. Uh, there's another Best Buy on the other side of town, but I have a feeling they'll probably end up doing the same thing. And yeah, Walmart and Target, like you can't put all your trust into them because you'll be disappointed every single time. But look, I have more plans uh, with this video, I was going to do, you know, my subscriber unboxing and steelbook unboxings and all that stuff. I'll probably do that still, uh, but it'll be in a separate video. I'm just going to make this, uh, you know, one thing, the end, the end of Best Buy, the end of my Best Buy. They're coming for everybody. I've seen it online. Um, I just didn't think it would happen to me so soon, but let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this? Uh, you know, how is it in your area? Is your Best Buy stop selling physical media as well? You know, and the, we got a lot of serious stuff going on in the world. I know this is the, uh, you know, the, this is the lower end of the priorities of, of importance. But uh, this is a physical media channel. We talk about movies and Blu-rays and 4K. So it is important here, um, you know, in, in context of what we do on this channel. So... Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching, you know, uh, like this video, you know, if you, if you want to like the, the death of physical media, uh, at Best Buy, uh, like this video, um, you know, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, obviously I probably won't be doing a whole lot of Best Buy Blu-ray hunting stuff anymore, but I do do a lot of physical media content, uh, Blu-ray 4k content on this channel. It's just, I'm going to have to pre-order a lot more, which, you know, I don't mind doing. I don't mind doing at the end of the day, but 
it just sucks. It's, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm, my, my mind is blown right now. Again, I saw this coming. I just, I'm kind of shocked. I just didn't think it was going to be the day. Uh, so I'm flabbergasted. I'm at a loss for words. I'm just rambling at this point with you guys. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we're done and we're going to go home. Um, and you know, watch some movies, but I'll see you guys later.